working on about the 3D, 3X. And we have been part of this Ministry of Agriculture uh, for a long time. And I have been seeing for the last 10 years, all these are be, be getting discussed in all forums. It is not that suddenly it has come and there is some reaction from some quarters that it is not good uh, for the farm. So we, as a scientist, very truly we feel, as a ICR also we feel, that these are the revolutionary kind of steps from the government. On the simple logic that there were many restrictions to the farmers that they can sell only in the APNC markets. They cannot sell it from the other places. And we have got evidences that those farmers are even the traders who wanted to buy it from the, even the villages from the doorsteps, they were prevented to buy those products. So this is a kind of liberalization to the entire farming community. They can buy it and they can sell it. They are produced from anywhere. I mean to say they can sell it from their house, they can sell it from the godown, and from even processing, wherever they are doing from there itself, they can sell it. So there is a lot of, you can say, scope for the farmer. And at the same time, government is saying time and again, and all the minister has to show so, that APMC markets will continue because this is a bigger country, large number of farmers, so one option can never be sufficient for our farmers. And that we always talk in the extension system also, whether it should be a public extension system or private or voluntary organizations. And we say that it should be a multi-agency extension system in our country. And that is what applies to this one. You can say all the acts which are providing opportunity to others also. Time and again, it was discussed that private sector is not coming to the agriculture sector in a big way. And that was said to be one lacuna by which it is not going. Probably this is, these acts which have come up, three acts, they will provide an opportunity to the traders also. They can come, they can buy from anywhere, and they can also the essential commodity act provide opportunity that they can store to the any amount. There is no provision now that you have to buy this much only. So there is no, you can say, restriction uh, on the purchase. So anybody who is trying to buy in bulk and wants to export outside, they will be all facilitated. Probably, so the biggest thing is happening that farmers are getting liberalized, but at the same time, trade is also getting liberalized. I have seen in the past also, uh, I, I reference from it, that one company came to buy wheat and they used to sell it to procure from the doorsteps of farmer and selling it to Tamil Nadu. So they were not allowed. They made few buyings, but later on they were denied that you cannot buy it as per the said you have to come into the provisions I will BMC. So those provisions was lifted. The freedom was freedom is one thing, but at the same time APMC markets they used to take tax exemptions and other things. There were certain levies also so that also has been removed by the government. So taxation will not be there for any buying from anywhere.